back out on the range again today with another on range video. So today I have the Caltech. Let me. It's the Caltech CMR30. It has magazines where it can switch out with the pistol. I have the pistol, but I'm just going to do a separate video, standalone video with that. That way I can have two videos with one magazine. So this is using a SIG optic. I forgot the name of it. I'll insert it in. <clears throat> but the last time I used one of these things, it was in 2017. It just would not function. So I'm running some CCI Maxi Mags. So we're running... CCI Maxi Mags, and it is 40 grain jacket at hollow point. I got a couple of magazines, they're loaded up. I just want to see the functionality of it at first, see if we can get through a whole magazine because the last time it totally let me down the pistol and the carbine. So, this is the carbine, and we're going to use a pistol later on, but it just totally let me down the last time. The owner of this, one of my friends loaned me this. The owner of this said it only runs the CCI Maxi Mag. So we're gonna see, sometimes when you turn the camera on, things gonna take a poop in the bed. So let's just find out what's gonna happen with it. And I already, I've already taken some shots already to make sure it was sighted in. Loaded fine. Um, put it on safe. Only thing I don't like is the loading. You have to load it from the bottom. I mean, it sort of works if you get used to the battery of arms. Let's use this whole magazine and see what our grouping looks like. It's not too bad. Barrel's a little warm, but that's that's 22 wind mag. That's a more powerful round. Comparable to 5.7. I guess you could call it a budget 5.7. But I I would rank it right with the cost of 5.7 because it's not any more economical to shoot a 22 wind mag than it is a 5.7. Those rounds are expensive. So it made it through that magazine. The accuracy looks pretty, pretty decent. <clears throat> so now, let's see if we can uh, get a little fast shots. And uh, I'll take you guys down. I'll take you guys down to see the actual shots down there. Dead trigger. Failure to feed. Dead trigger. Failure to feed. Come on now. We got to that first magazine good. Let's get it. Okay. There we go. It just need a little pep talk. My recoil control started to get out of the way a little bit. We didn't get off target, but we did spread out a fairly amount. This does have a little bit of recoil in this platform here. Uh, let's go down and take a look at that. This shit did get out of control. This was the first shots standing. This is everything else. I just had one in the D. <laughs> one in the D area. The rest was in the A and C. Well, most of them was low because I was pulling down, trying to manage the recoil. I think this thing may have like a 25 yard zero on it, which I am about 10 or 15 yards. And so the accuracy is fairly decent for what I can do with it. 
So now let's run a little bit of steel. I'm gonna be shooting past you guys, so hopefully, hopefully I don't hit my camera. This is a lot of money going, so you guys entertainment purposes, we're gonna run past these cameras. Took a couple shots to actually knock that plate down. Even with the 22 wind mag, it didn't have enough energy to knock those plates down. I don't know if they haven't been oiled up or maintained correctly, but they were very heavy and very hard to push down. I had to hit that thing with a few rounds to get it to push down. Same drill again. Couple on cardboard, rest on the steel. Dead trigger. So I'm thinking this is a loading issue. Let's find out. I tap the magazine and see what happens. Load it. Dead trigger again. Um, I don't know if that's a loading issue or not. Dead trigger again. And then a failure to feed. So that case is beat up bad, very bad. Come on now. Dead trigger again. Dead trigger again. It just doesn't want to feed. Dead trigger again. Yeah, at this point, it's just becoming a bolt action. <laughs> Give it a fair chance. I'm going to go and reload another magazine and see what happens. Okay, we're back with a fresh magazine. This is the first magazine that I used. So let's see if the reliability was due to the magazine and not the actual rifle. This thing had been cleaned and lubed up. Dead trigger again. Failure to feed. Dead trigger again. Yeah, it's just a straight bolt action now. Magazine, not sure. I only put 15 rounds in there, so it wasn't like the spring should have been bound up. At this point, this rifle, I could not... I could not get behind a rifle like this. I just simply could not get behind a rifle like this solely because the reliability on it, it is so bad. I don't want to trash a company or a gun I, that's not what i'm doing i want to come out and have fun with them but like i stated before if you turn the camera on things tend to turn sideways with certain rifles and pistols you don't have as good luck i just wish it would have worked i don't want to dump any more ammo into this thing trying to get it to work out here i'm not going to uh, try to deduce whether it was the magazines or the ammo because i only had one type of ammo so that could have been the problem could have been me but with that one type of ammo, it did not want to run that well. I don't know how many malfunctions I had. I want to say it was maybe 15 of them. It ran that first magazine flawlessly. Um, I don't know if it didn't like the oil, the heat, or whatever it may be, or it could have been the magazines. I just don't simply have enough ammo to try to deduce whether it was the ammo 
magazines, or the rifle itself. You guys like this kind of content, hit that like, share, subscribe. Come back and enjoy some more videos with me, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Ah.